So um, the annoying thing about this strap, and I am nitpicking here, is what do you do with this random long bit? <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be unboxing my latest piece from the current Chanel 22C Cruise collection. Um, I am so in love with this bag. Um, it is the denim mini rectangular mini rectangle pearl crush um, with the adjustable strap. So this is I think this is what they mean by the pearl crush or that's called the pearl crush ball. Um, and this bag was on my wish list when I first saw it, I want to say about six months ago, I saw the image of it, I screenshotted it, I sent it to um, my Chanel SA here in Melbourne and I put my name down for this bag straight away because I knew that I needed a denim bag. Um, I remember when the denim bag came out last year and it had the white CC on it. I'll put an image up here uh, for you. And that bag was the one for me that got away. It was in a medium size with silver hardware. It was just absolutely stunning. And the price was amazing. I really kick myself now because from memory, I think it was about 5,000 AUD. Um, and this little guy here set me back uh, close to 7,000. So this was 6,960. Um, so definitely a price difference and it is a smaller bag um so let's take a closer look it does have the um diamond quilting um I, as you can see i haven't taken off the sticker yet um but this is the brush gold or the aged gold also known as antique gold so many different names for it um but the brush gold hardware the chain itself um is also that brush gold hardware with a blue leather um, strap as well um, and the pearl crush is also in denim which I really love um, and has the brush gold uh, hardware detail um, so the way that you use this strap is you hold down the CC and you can pull the strap up or down through it um, what else it has the Mona Lisa back pocket which you can see on all the classic flat bags um, and then inside it is also denim lined, Oops. Um, which I was a bit surprised about. I actually thought it was going to be leather lined, but it is a denim lined with the slip pocket and also the um, zipper as well. Um, because this is from the current collection or the latest collections, um, it means that there is no more serial stickers, no more authenticity cards, and it does have the microchip. Uh, can you see that? In there which again if you've watched my earlier videos you would know that that is my preference because um, it just means that you don't need to keep that card in place or be mindful of the sticker peeling off so I really love that about this bag I have here as well the mini rectangle in the caramel color from the 21 P collection which launched in February 2021 for comparison so this is the mini rectangle in the caramel color and this is the denim pearl crush, um, both in the mini rectangle. So they look identical in size. I'll show you side on, identical, the base. Uh, you can see here that this has um, a more structured base, whereas the denim, unfortunately, <laughs> does not. So it's a much more casual bag, um, which suits the fabric nicely. Okay. So let me pop this on and I'll show you the differences with the Pearl Crush versus the regular mini. Um, for me, I am five foot one, so I am quite short. And the strap, as you guys would know, for the mini for me is way too long. So having this adjustable strap is an absolute dream. So let's have a look at them on and, and ways to style it. Okay, so you can see that I've got the denim pearl crush on my shoulder. Again, this is a fully adjustable strap. So um, if I wanted to wear it shorter, I would press this button, pull through the chain like so until it's the um, desired strap length. What I will say is that this strap, what annoys me the most about this bag, sorry, there's a bird out there that is driving me nuts. Um, 
let me let's wait for it to stop okay so um, the annoying thing about this strap and I am nitpicking here is what do you do with this random long bit I don't know so <laughs> when you when you adjust the strap and say you want it to be shorter oh my god that bird okay so if you wanted the strap to be shorter to wear it as a shoulder bag what's really annoying is this weird dangly bit as you can see um, so what I tend to do um, and what the fashion associate at FA uh, advised me to do is actually pop the chain into this bag like so let me just close her up and then it is nicely tucked away um, as you can see oh this chair's in the way too okay and you can see that it's tucked away nicely uh, in comparison this is the regular mini um, with the chain at full length and as you can see I can't even get it into the screen it is quite long so here's my hip um, and it goes below my butt <laughs> so it is really really long I did show you guys a trick that I do with this bag so when I do wear it out I do this little trick if I don't want to use my uh, strap shortener but I pull this through like so wrap it around and close it and then there is a, the chain that comes on the top uh, like so this is how I would wear the rectangle mini um, versus the pearl crush um, so the pole crush can also be worn crossbody. So again, what I would do is take this extremely long chain out, um, press the button or the, uh, I don't even know what you call that. What's that called? Like whatever that is, where well, you press that and pull the chain through to the desired length and you can wear it as a crossbody bag. Again, for me, that's quite long. So I would adjust that again. To make it a little bit shorter and that's what that looks like um, if I was to use this as a crossbody that is probably my favorite length around here so I would adjust that to a similar length what do you guys think so here it is the 22c denim crush in the rectangle mini size I absolutely adore her I think she's so stunning and I'm so, so glad I could get my hands on her uh, because I know on the resale market they are going for a crazy amount. Um, so I'm pretty happy that I did get her. Okay, I'm back. So what do you guys think about the Denim Pearl Crush in this rectangle mini size? I absolutely adore her. Um, I am not a brush gold lover or I wouldn't say it's my favorite hardware but I think against the denim it works really really nicely and again because I am quite short it is so good to have this pearl crush uh, adjustable uh, chain but again the thing that I hate the most is the the fact that because it's adjustable you've got this really long weird piece I don't know what to do with it besides tuck it in I think this design could potentially be improved by Chanel, come on. Um, it's not a cheap bag um, and could be something to be reviewed. But nevertheless, I do love her. She's not going anywhere. Um, I'm so glad to have a denim beauty in my collection. And it's just so nice to have this beautiful casual bag. Um, so if you have any comments or thoughts, please leave them below. Let's have a conversation about it. Um, and... That's it for the 22C collection. So I don't have anything left on my wish list until 22P um, and also the new spring summer 2022 collection. Um, those runway pieces really have won me over. Um, I definitely want a few bikinis and swimsuits and um, there's a jacket and a skirt in there that I really, really adore and then there's the bags um, which have definitely caught my eye but I'll leave that to another video let's discuss what's on everyone else's wish list but um, guys thank you so much for tuning in today here at Marie D's channel I hope you really enjoyed the discussion about the 
uh, Chanel 22C Denim Crush Mini. Um, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you. Bye for now.